Mark, thank you so much for taking the time. You would become the first woman in the role of the world's top diplomat. Does gender matter this time? Well, many member states are saying it matters a lot. They're saying after almost 71 years, isn't it time? I think it is very important to focus on what are the skills for the job and who's the best person for the job. Obviously, I hope it will be me. I am a woman and clearly that breaks a big glass ceiling. Many member states, including Germany and Japan, want a reform of the Security Council. If you were to become the next Secretary General, would you reduce the power of the five permanent members of the Security Council? Well, there's some things Secretary Generals can do and some they can't. And uh, removing vetoes is definitely one that's well beyond the, the province of the Secretary General. In fact, even saying what the shape of the Security Council should be is, is not the job of the Secretary General. What I would say is that the Security Council reflects the post-war settlement of 1945. Here we are almost 71 years later. The world has changed a great deal. And for the UN to stay relevant and responsive to today's world, it needs to review its architecture. Now, as Secretary General, I'm very happy to facilitate that discussion among the member states. The member states must take the decision. But I think uppermost in everybody's mind is how do we keep this great organisation relevant? I think there's also issues on the effectiveness and efficiency front, and I'd like to see myself as someone out of New Zealand with a modern approach to public administration, uh, running well-oiled machines uh, to, to get results as well, and I'd like to bring that touch to the UN Secretariat. That is a very diplomatic answer. Experts and member states alike criticise that the UN is ponderous and too bureaucratic, so what would you make a priority? What would be your first reform? Well, talking to a, a very wide range of member states, there is frustration uh, with some of the clunkiness of the UN administration. For example, it takes a long time to deploy s civilians to peacekeeping missions. It actually takes quite a long time to fill jobs in general. Mm -hmm. Take, it just takes a long time to do things, and some of the systems don't work so well. Now, in, in UNDP, I've had a big drive for less bureaucracy, fewer layers of management, uh, getting people closer to the countries that they serve by pushing regionalization of the organization. I know at UNDP it can be done. You, you have to be pretty clear-sighted and firm to get it done. Mm -hmm. But I think the, the Secretariat is, is calling for, for some of that kind of prioritization a re-look at how resources are allocated. Mm -hmm. You can't keep running back to member states for more money all the time. At some point they say, well, how are you spending the money you've got? Mm -hmm. And you have to have a good look at that. Looking at the process, at the election process, some worry that this will be decided again behind closed doors, even after this application process. Um, mm -hmm. is, how, how do you see your chances? How high are your chances? Well, I think it depends on what the member states are looking for in the end. And I refer particularly to the, uh, the 15 on the Security Council. And of course, the permanent five have a, a particular uh, level of influence in this. If they are looking for the best person for the job in our troubled and challenging world, I believe they will look to a profile like mine. If the attitude is going to be, oh, well, it's some region's turn, so we only look there, then that's another matter. But I think what the UN needs is someone who can lift it to another level. What would be the worst thing that can happen? That the UN slips into irrelevance as a player in the world in which we live. If we didn't have the UN, we'd have to invent it. So can we please reinvent it now to make it more relevant and more effective? And that will require the leadership skills of someone like myself. Thank you so much, Ms. Clark. Good luck with your campaign. Thank you.